Oh Christmas, snowy mountains and a cup of hot chocolate. And all work is finally done. The nicest time of the year. I was waiting for you. Hello there and welcome to this relaxed December devil. What the f***? Ah, oh, my leg. Hey you little shit. Ready to tell people the truth? The truth? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Snowy mountains? You've spent the whole month in front of your screen. And hot chocolate? Look at you. You'd better be running around the block, nerd. Uh, I get it. I was playing too cool. But who are you? I am December Crunch. The manifestation of your last indie game death month. I gain my energy from your overwork, from your sleepless nights, from your missed screenshot Saturdays and your nightmares about delayed updates on your games. And I'm here to beat your silly self-taught wannabe game dev butt. Okay. Yeah, I admit that I've promised too much, but... <coughs> What happened? Don't admit your mistakes. <sighs> ah, so every time I tell the truth and admit that I've struggled in a situation during game development, you lose a bit of your power. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, you, you want a cookie? Keep your cookies. Here it comes. This is devlog number three, Christmas Crunch Confessions. Have fun. Hi. I'm part-time indie developer and illustrator. I've gained my knowledge through thousands of online tutorials and now I want to give something back and share these skills with you. If you like these videos, subscribe to the channel to not miss new videos coming up and if you want to support me, check out my website that contains my published games and a detailed dev blog and much more. Or hit me up on Twitter. Okay guys, to be honest, this month was crazy. If you watched the previous two episodes, you'll know that I'm sharing my progress on my personal dream game. It's a mecha local multiplayer game I'm developing alone using Unity. And it's heavily inspired by the anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. I got along pretty well since I've started my first devlog in October. And your feedback, guys, thank you so much. It's overwhelming how much good references and ideas you shared with me in that short time span. You are my MVPs. What's up with that dream game you want to make so hard? I don't want to let you wait. If you came to see progress on my mecha game, here's the truth. I did not work on it. No! Wait! <sighs> but, but, but what is this? This is a visualization of the screen flow for the game. You show impressions how the players are guided from the start to the first mission. And the mech customization, that was a lot of work. And uh, look here, you even created a chart showing the game loop that also defines your various winning scenarios you talked about in the November devlog. Hmm, yeah. I wanted to show this, but honestly, I made this already in early November. And I also think I should attribute all the artwork correctly because it's not mine. I will do that maybe rather on a blog post on my website next year. <laughs> But what did I do instead if I wasn't working hard on my dream game? Well, if you paid attention in the last video, I mentioned it already. For December I plan working a bit more on my existing game Country Ball Potato Miami, where I'm currently making a multiplayer mode. You made an online multiplayer game mode for your existing game? In just one month? Mmm, kinda yeah. Did you ever make an online game before? You know that's quite hard and different because it includes a lot of networking and stuff you've never have to handle in offline games. Well, I gave myself a huge task and I've never done that before. But Country Ball Potato Miami is my first ever released game and it has grown a solid fan base. Already in an early stage, two years ago in 2019, some people were asking for a multiplayer mode so they could play with their friends. And as the pandemic this year spread all over the world, I think I should finally give them a way to play and have this experience together with their friends even without being at the same place. So I started setting up a Photon account for Unity and coded day and night, trying to get the system running. Although the start went smooth, there were a lot of special situations that needed to be handled. It was a whole lot more work than I expected, even though I knew that multiplayer games are another level of game development, especially for solo indies. Oh, and what is with the people who like your devlogs and your mecha game? If I remember right, you promised them progress. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't hold my promises. What are you doing? 
I am developing alone. I'm earning my daily bread with a 50% assistance job at the Art Academy and by doing freelance illustration jobs. That's quite a bit to handle. And also I wanted to make and get some presents for the people I really care about. Excuses, excuses. You could have worked way harder and deliver a good project and your devlog on time. Listen, Crunch. This month stressed the hell out of me and let you grow. But the people I care about come first. Okay, boo-hoo. So heartwarming, I wanna throw up. So at least show me how the online multiplayer of Country Ball Potato Mayhem looks like. Sure, that's the least I can do. The new feature is a battle royale game mode for five players that can battle on a lovely designed map. The characters are customizable and shoot each other with potatoes. You can either play ranked matches, a quick match with random players or you can even create custom matches for your friends only. The last one standing wins the pot if you play ranked matches and the top three players climb the ladder of fame in the worldwide ranking. And by the way, you don't need to create a profile or something, just download and play it right away. Oh, uh, that sounds pretty cool. How much will it cost me to play? I know your humans are all money driven. Hmm, it's partially true. I will need some income to keep the service running, otherwise it will be over soon with this whole indie game dev dream. Therefore, players can support the development with any of the three affordable donation tiers. And I said this once in another video about the origins of Country Ball Potato Miami. The game is free and will remain free. If you cannot afford or don't want to donate, watch an ad and you can play for free. <laughs> ads? Everyone hates ads. Mm, okay, yeah, and I hate to starve after working day and night for months. Oh, well, fair enough. But what was that thing with the charity I saw in the video you mentioned? All right. Last year, between the 24th of December and the 6th of January, 6th, 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 6th of January, I did a charity where I spent 90% of the profit from all in-app purchases of that period to UNICEF. Thanks go out to everyone who participated back then. We raised about $106 for good. You are awesome. And yes, let's do the same this year. 90% from Christmas the 24th till 6th, 6th. January the 6th, F, 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 ha, 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 ha. We'll go to the International Red Cross Movement that is dedicated to protect human life and health, to ensure respect for all human beings and to prevent and alleviate human suffering. I have to point out that this is not an official partnership. I just get the money from Apple and Google and then give it to the Red Cross in the name of all Country Ball Potato Miami players. Oh, 90% uh, is uh, nearly all, dude. Why? Because helping is good. I'm far from being able to support others in need, but I'm privileged at the same time to do what I love and to have the chance to try to make a living out of it. So it's fine. It's a good thing, I guess. Okay, so when is the new update available? I know you, Crunch. You want an exact date. Unfortunately, I won't give you one. It will be released in January for sure. The best way to stay informed is to follow me on my social media and subscribe to my channel. Ah, listen Crunch, I know you hit me hard before and during the whole month, but in some strange way I like you. You were born from ambition and the wish of creating something special for the people who love the same that we love. Games. I guess we cannot be without each other. I should be just more realistic and also relaxed about the situation. People will understand, I hope. All right then. This was the little bit shorter Christmas Crunch confession special. I really hope you and your families, friends, neighbors, pets and whoever is dear to you stay safe and take care. A crazy year is ending and new hope is coming. I thank every single one of you for the support over the last couple of months. And I promise more videos about my dream mecha game are coming in the future. Um, who's that? Oh, that's my cousin. January Crunch.